Next up is a modern version of a favorite food. Yo Sharks, how y'all doing today? My name is Mrs. Jenny Goldfarb and I'm from the mean streets of New York City. I'm a fast talking, no nonsense city girl and I'm here seeking $100,000 for 10% on my business, Unreal Deli. Capiche? Capiche. <laughs> Now, although I hail from New York City, about a decade ago, I moved to beautiful, sunny Los Angeles. There, I shed the pesky accent. What I didn't shed, my deep love for the authentic delis New York is famous for. I wanted corned beef, I wanted pastrami, I wanted it stacked thick on rye with Russian and mustard and all the fixins. <laughs> so you can imagine my dismay when I became vegan and realized I couldn't eat my beloved corned beef or pastrami at all. That's why I created Mrs. Goldfarb's Unreal Deli, home of the most mouth-watering, decadent, vegan corned beef. That's right, sharks. At Mrs. Goldfarb's Unreal Deli, we use nothing but 100% super clean plant-based ingredients that are low in carb, low in fat, and protein packed to make our Unreal Deli meat. But don't just take my word for it. Please dig in and try for yourselves. Let's go! A little closer to you there is our sweeter rendition with some Russian, my signature Russian dressing and some apple slaw. Further back, a little more of a zinger with kraut and spicy mustard. Has a little bit of a pastrami punch to it. Not bad. Mm. It's good. Thank you. I wanted to create a healthy rendition That's to the really classic good. deli meat I grew up on, which is why I use ingredients like beets, chickpeas, tomatoes, and a complex spice blend to make my deli meat not only delicious, but also incredibly nutritious. Sharks, I'm a fighter, and I'm gonna keep fighting until our unreal deli meat is in every grocery store, deli, and restaurant worldwide. <laughs> so sharks, who wants to sell some meat? Or do I gotta break some knees around here? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, what's the calorie count on a sandwich? 100 per two ounces. Oh, that's good. really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's super low in fat. It's not bad. So who came up with the, the formula for this? And, and I came up with the it? recipe. Uh, I became vegan about five years ago. I ate meat my whole life, and then I started seeing videos of animal cruelty, documentaries, and it was so heartbreaking. I, I couldn't stand to continue to eat the way I was eating, and I had a meat and potatoes husband and some young kids, and I had to figure out how to reconfigure my cooking methods. So I bought every vegan cookbook I could find, and I figured out how to cook from the produce aisle and the grains aisle. Ultimately, the food started getting good, and so I realized there are a lot of delicious burgers on the market in the plant-based world, but there was no authentic, classic deli meat. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, only a handful of months. We just incorporated this year. Right now, we're at a, about a half a dozen of the largest, most iconic delis around Los Angeles. But next month, we're coming into 58 Whole Foods stores. And starting yeah. in January, we're gonna be in two 30-plus chain restaurants. What's your history the, uh, prior to this? My history actually goes back almost 100 years. My great-grandfather emigrated from Romania. There he is in the middle. I never had the pleasure of meeting him. He emigrated from Romania as a teenager, not speaking the language, without his parents. So did mine, one of mine, I by know. the way. I was just thinking, for us to be sitting here on the stage today, it's like what our parents it's and incredible. grandparents did for us to get here, I know. He came from Romania, started working as a dishwasher in his first New York City deli, and then went on to come and own and operate several New York City delis and cafeterias. So corned beef, pastrami, this is in my bloodline. So how are the sales now in the delis? So we're brand new, we're just a few months in, and in this time we've pulled off 10,000 from the local delis, and we just launched, just a week ago, our e-commerce cold chain store, and we sold $2,000 in the first 24 hours. It was up, we didn't even put any advertising into it. What do you sell it for, okay. and what's your cost? I pay $3.80 per pound to have it made, and I sell it for an average between eight to ten dollars a pound. Now, Jennifer, I have to ask you this question, Please. okay? There are two very large, well-capitalized public companies doing plant-based meats. What stops them from doing this derivative of meat and crushing you like the corned beef cockroach you are? Because I'm gonna start working with one of you and we're gonna bring this to market. Good answer. Jennifer, Good answer. why so much, the value? I mean, uh, you're asking for a million dollar valuation. But at, at such an early stage, agreed. Because I'll be honest, I invested in one of those companies just on the market, and yeah. I made three times the amount of money you're asking for in a matter of three weeks. And well, I didn't good. have to make any calls. Okay. I didn't have to do anything. So why this valuation Fair of a million dollars? 
because there are teams of plant-based investors out there, and they've already come knocking on my door, and they're ready to give me half a million for 10% so of my here? business. Why would you do offer to us for 100? I'll tell you why. Because I've been waiting. Why? Are you ready? Yeah, because I'm ready. Because one shark dollar is worth five regular dollars yes. in the world. Oh, that's right. right. That's, right. Right. that's, so that's wise. why. So that's why so, wise. so much? The when valuation. You... That's, th that's the point, right? Aren't you saying that we bring value to this? But yes. In, it, but she's I bring value she's too. given to a, a fraction of the, what she's already been offered. I bring value too. My projections. $3 million next year. Well, you haven't you lost your New York this? hustle. I know, right? You're, still no, you're, you're right. Listen, my projections for next year is that I'm going to look like the guy who plays Thor. It, <laughs> okay, it, it, it's not going to happen, most likely. Okay. Jennifer, do you have any flexibility in your your equity? Because I find it a little light. I don't yeah, think it Yeah, it is light. I came here to negotiate. Okay, I can't right. give gonna, away I'm gonna a throw huge you an yeah. offer. I'm going to throw you an offer. Start, off, start this going. And I will help you as Chef Wonderful. I'm amazing. Wow. I'll help sell it. And he's okay. selling beef. So I'm thinking I'll give you the $100,000, and I want 20%. Thank you for that offer. So I love this space. I'm an investor in other plant-based foods. It's a super hot space right now in Silicon Valley. It's a lot of money going into this. So I'd love if you could help me get a little bit more comfortable with, you know, why is it with all the Silicon Valley money that's coming and some of those big companies out there, it's hard for me to understand how you can stay protected. You mean how the cockroach is this actually factor? Be? So how I'll, simpl I'll simplify. Exactly. How do you, Jennifer? Deal with the I'll simplify factor. everything. Jennifer, I'll simplify everything. Go ahead. I love it. Yeah. I went vegetarian. Yeah. I'll make you an offer that you know my style, right? I like the whole yes or no. Let's oh, negotiate crap. right now. It's right? Crap. I'll give you two hundred fifty thousand dollars for twenty percent. Okay. But this is right now, do or die? Tell, do or Tell die. Tell me what you want to do. I'll be, the, I'll be on the front page of it. I'll be the poster child for it. We'll go, we'll hustle. Mark Cuban, you got yourself a deal. That's oh. what's up. Uh -huh. Woo! Very, very smart. I don't hustle. I don't mess oh, around either. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mother Thank wow. you so much. Congrats, Jennifer. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. Now that I have a deal with Mark, the future of Unreal Delhi is extraordinary. We thought we were doing great things before. Just wait and see what's gonna come. This business is a cash cow. We're making cash and we're saving the cows. Next into the tank is a special version of a beloved treat. Hi, I'm Jabora Torres. And I'm Jonathan Torres. We're from San Jose, California, seeking $500,000 for 10% of our company, Atlas, Atlas Monroe. Monroe. Let's cut right to the chase, Sharks. We make the best, most enticing, extra crispy fried chicken you've ever put in your mouth. But don't take our words for it, Sharks. Try it for yourselves and dig in. OK. OK. okay. Fried chicken. Mind? I love me some fried chicken. It's good. Mm-hmm. Some of the best fried chicken you ever had, huh, Sharks? Very close. What if we told you that fried chicken wasn't chicken at all? Oh, no You wow. heard that right, Sharks. We make nothing but 100% vegan, plant-based eats using only organic, non-GMO ingredients, all while satisfying your every taste bud. We started this incredible company from the ground up. And now our chicken is an overnight sensation. But Sharks, we need your help to get our chicken to food lovers everywhere. Who wants to cash in on our chicken? <laughs> this batter is extremely tasty. It's got some zip to it. Thank, Thank you. you. You really fooled me. OK, guys, what are you putting in the stuff we are eating? Right now, our recipe is proprietary. However, the base of it is organic wheat. Organic really? wheat? Really? Yes. So it's not soy? No. Not at all. Now, did you invent all this, or are you just packaging it all from other places? Oh, or? no, this is 100% our original recipe. Everything, batter, everything. product, batter, everything. everything. We actually both are the ones that cook everything from start to finish. What's the story? Well, a few years ago, my father was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. My whole family and I went on a raw, vegan, and organic diet for 90 days. We grew really hangry at each other hey. from eating just salads and fruit salads. Yep. We started going to work in the kitchen and experimenting, making deliciousness like raw lasagna and tacos. And after the 90 days, he was completely healed. Wow. We vowed to stay organic, plant-based, and natural. We continued to experiment, and Atlas Monroe was born. You manufacture this, or you have a commercial kitchen that does mm -hmm. it for you, I assume, by now. And your distribution strategy is what? So what we started off first was with 
festivals. We would always have two hour waits. People were just so intrigued by our chicken, so we started shipping nationwide. And were you, sh were so, you shipping and how frozen much revenue products? Are you doing? We're oh, shipping sorry, frozen, yeah. What are your total sales? And break it down by category. Well, let me tell you guys something first. It's let never me, let's good let when me... you don't give us the number, you know that? Oh, I'm gonna give you the numbers. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you. We have celebrities, we have influencers who vouch for us, telling the world that it's the best that they've ever had without us ever paying anyone a dime. We were the first and only vegan company to be invited to the National Fried Chicken Festival. That's cool. Yes. That is cool. We were named Best Fried Chicken. Out of all the real chickens? Yes. I love the real chicken. By Time Magazine's Extra Crispy. From there, wow. within 24 hours, we net $12,000 just from a single Instagram post. Wow. We have over 20 wholesale customers itching to get their hands on our product. So it's very exciting, but it's translated let, into what in sales? Let me, let me tell and you, let me tell you. I have the what best. is the revenue? The revenue is $60,000 that we've done this year. Our okay. net is $73,000 and our gross is $76,000. Wait, wait, that doesn't add up. The, that's confusion. I think you got it backwards. Your total sales are? No, no our total sales are 60,000. A lot of our cost goes into the shipping. That's why our sales are 60. Our net with um, shipping and everything is 73. And then our gross is 76. I don't want to stick a pin in the balloon here, but. But your numbers are backwards. I you, you can't have 60,000 in sales and make 73. It's impossible. Including the shipping, they're like talking about product the revenue and then shipping revenue. Yes, and you got yes. include shipping. I'm just not counting. So confused. Without I'm so the confused. shipping, product sales sixty, yes. including shipping revenue seventy three. Yes. What's your profit or your loss? We've made forty five thousand and our expenses is thirty one thousand, so we're at sixty percent profit margin. When you send out a typical shipment, what do you charge for the chicken? And what do you pay for the shipping? We charge $23 for a six piece. Our average shipping cost is $21. Are you charging $44 to the customer? Yes. So now for your six, the six wings in any packaging, what does it cost you? It costs us $2.67. What? Cents. Per wing or for six wings? For six. For six. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Six of these giant piece of fried chicken costs you $2.67. And and Oh my God. But asking for $500,000 for 10% is it's ludicrous. A little crazy, yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And so that was a decision. Wait, 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 let me finish. That's a decision you made, okay? That's not my decision. You're not that clear on your numbers. Just being honest with you, well, you're not worth $500,000. I'd have to have 120% no, of the Kevin, company. you mean she's not worth $5 million? I'm saying she's not worth $500,000. There's no way to get to where we need to go with you. I'm out. Okay. Thank you. So, Deborah, have you tried to get a co-packer yet? We've been hesitant because it's the only one of its kind right now. You don't want to All reveal your secret how, recipe. However, exactly. exactly. Speaking of that, we are currently in talks with a mega, famous, internationally known fast food restaurant chain that is very interested in our chicken. Really? So, so they have said that they would take this. They actually have our chicken right, right now. now. Are you, you know, going to give them the recipe? No. no. I do okay. want to tell before, you guys. Before you speak, okay, look, sure. uh, because I've been listening very carefully, I think you're here way too early. But what bothers me is you're confused. If you were to come in here and you had orders or some proof. We actually do have those orders. We just can't meet the demand yeah, with can't. the space there, and the storage. No, you have, have the compliments and the intent, but you don't have orders. No, we have, we, orders. Have orders. we have the orders. We have the orders. We just you, tell you them, like, the okay, you need to wait for them to, to even... be fulfilled right now because we're in the process well, of filling Well, I admire where your heart is, Currently, but for me, it's right just now. all too confusing. And you know what? It's a ridiculous number you're asking. I'm sorry I'm out. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm gonna make you an offer, but there's gonna be so many contingencies. <laughs> okay. Look, I went vegetarian three months ago, so this is important to me, and I love products that I can eat. You're obviously smart, but you're learning to become business people as you go. Every business that goes through that hyper growth, and I've been there, if you're not organized at the bottom, when you start to grow, it collapses. So I'm gonna give you the 500K as a letter of credit, which means we'll draw down on it as we grow, and I want 30% of the business. This is the part where you say yes. <laughs> so while you're mulling Mark's thing, I wish you had come in with a little more of a game plan. I just 
I'm struggling with the operational setup, and I think it's just gonna take a lot of heavy lifting and an evaluation that's really too sporty for me to jump in at. So unfortunately, I'm out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. What are your projections for this year and next year? Well, right now, like I said, we do $12,000 in a 24-hour period of time. And if we can do that every single day, just in the last three months of this year, we projected 2.4 million, just with the three months. Next year, doing 2.4 million each month, that's 30 million in a year. Lori, what are you doing? I loved the taste. I like the space. I'm super concerned about what's happening with eating meat from the antibiotic problem and the steroids. But the problem for me is, is that your numbers seem really impractical. They're not tangible. So unfortunately, I'm out. Thank but you. it's not all bad news. You have an offer from Mark Cuban. Maybe he's going to bring in Rohan. Contingent on the orders being All right, let's hear what they got. He's replacing my offer, which you obviously didn't like. Mark and I, I'm back in, because Mark sucked me back in. But here's what we're thinking. You need more money. So we'd be willing to give you guys a million dollars. One million dollars. One million dollars for everything you guys have. Soup to nuts, recipes. We'll give you guys a 10% royalty on everything. And we'll do all the work. And if these orders are real, then this is a no-brainer. You are immediately a millionaire couple. Bam. On top of that, whatever infrastructure investments are required, kitchen, whatever it is, we'll do all that. You don't have to spend a nickel. Listen, this is an amazing moment in Shark Tank history here. You came in with a very confusing pitch. Now you have a $1 million offer by two behemoths who can actually execute. And you're still their partner because you're getting 10% in perpetuity. I mean, I'm stunned. What are you going to do? Three sharks are out. Mark and Rohan have offered $1 million and a 10% royalty on all future sales for Deborah and Jonathan's plant-based fried chicken company, Atlas Monroe. What are you gonna do? I really like your original offer. That's not on the table anymore. It's gone. This, yeah. this is the new offer. You could have jumped on it right then, but now it's... But, uh, yeah, but, but, but think about it, $1 million. You know how, how often that happens in Shark Tank? You ready? Never. Well, um, I'd like to come in and say thank you for your offer, Mark and Rohan, but we would like to decline. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Whoa. No, we no, really please, love please. Your first offer. Please. We, Don't I tell me you're going to gonna turn this down. Offer. You guys are going to need a lot of money on this thing. We're, it's going to die. Your 30% offer with the line of credit, we will show you that we, we work extraordinarily hard. hard. Guys, honestly, the million dollar offer is better. It's I, way better. The money you're going to have to raise is going to get you down to 10 with a lot more heavy lifting. As soon as we get our facility, we'll fulfill the orders and we'll hit a million dollars immediately. But you have all the costs associated with getting there. And the operational the headaches. I just want to make sure I'm not in an alternative universe right here. <laughs> Are you turning down a million dollars? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Say it ain't so. It is so. Everybody in America wants to be where you are right now, and you're gonna walk out of here without a million dollars? The fact that you guys are even offering us a million dollars just lets me know that you guys do understand you're right. what you're we're doing. No, no, you're right, you're but exactly right. But you guys right. are but gonna take 90% of it. I can't it. take it, we're, I can't we're... take it. But you gotta understand, we started our company because we really don't want That's to be employed. You're no different than we are. We, I slept on we, the floor. Six exactly, guys. so you oh, know the struggle Mustard that it takes. and ketchup takes. sandwiches, I know where you're coming exactly. from. We've all had our backs up against exactly. the wall. Exactly, so. Guys, I don't think I don't think we have a meeting of the minds. We're gonna have to take the offer yeah, back and back out. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, guys. Stick a fork in it, it's over. Good is good, and good product always wins in the end. Thank you. We're gonna so keep working hard. Well, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Good luck. Sure. Keep busting. Bye. Bye. Next into the tank is an indulgent version of a health food trend. Hi, Sharks. I'm Cassandra Yal, and I'm here today with one of my three beautiful daughters. Hi, Sharks. I'm India, and, and we're, we're the Bumbling Bee Vegan Junk Food and Burger Bar. 
<laughs> Sharks, we're here today looking for $150,000 for 10% of our company. Sharks, when you think of vegan food, you think bland and boring? Well, we are crushing that myth that plant-based food has to be just twigs and berries. Our vegan junk food is unlike anything you've ever had before. Whether it's our juicy clucker, a double dip fried mm, chicken sandwich, our award-winning Coney Island chili yep. cheese dogs or the Hank occasion fries, or a fat juicy burger dripping with our Yum. creamy cheddar cheese sauce. Don't forget to finish it off with one of our sweet nectar milkshakes. The Bubbling Bee Junk Food and Burger Bar is the new generation of fast food. Whether you're dairy-free, vegan, vegetarian or flexitarian, or just a little herbal more curious. <laughs> There's, <laughs> There's something for, for everyone. everyone. And now our mom is our queen bee. That's me. But we do need some more honey to help us pollinate hives across the country. Sharks to, to be or not, not to be. That is the question. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got some wrapping skills there, don't you? <laughs> Hang on, this is all vegan? Yes. All of that is vegan. Every 100%. bit. Oh my God. The mac Yay! and cheese is really good. We have won the award for best hot dog in our area, and I don't mean best vegan hot dog. We won best hot, hot dog. dog. Where but it's not your, your hot dog. You must it's get. It's not our hot dog. It's what we do with it. We put our magic spin on it. Yeah. So tell us about tell us about the restaurant. Absolutely, we have two restaurants. Uh, India runs Virginia yeah. Beach, Virginia. My other daughter Olivia, who couldn't be here today, runs Boulder, Colorado. We decided to become a vegan company at the beginning of 2019. What were you before that? I was a real estate investment broker, flipped a lot of houses with my husband. Unfortunately, I got trapped, and that was the market crash. So when the market crashed, I had $10,000 to my name. So I went and I said, what can I do with this money? So I started with a food cart, a hot dog cart. Took my money from the hot dog cart, bought a trailer took the money from the trailer, bought a truck. And I got it to the point where I had four trucks four. <laughs> plus a backup truck. Yep. And I got to the point where it wasn't worth it to me anymore to kill myself for that kind of money if my kids weren't interested in being part of it. I needed something that my daughters could be a part of. So that's when I said to them, what is it gonna take to get you passionate about this? My other daughter, Lexi, was a healthy vegan. What's missing in the market? Junk food. Well, can I ask your yes. economics? Because in order to franchise, you have to be able to operate at a, about 17 to 20% pre-tax profit per location. We are at a 15% margin. Last year, switched over with our first truck in June. Then we opened up our brick and mortar, which was my commissary in October. But that's what you want. You want more brick and mortars, right? No, I want both. Tell me your sales for last year. 194,000 for one truck part-time and one brick and mortar that opened in October. Now what's this year gonna look like? $324,000 came from Virginia Beach, Virginia, which was closed for six weeks. Yes. And Boulder, Colorado, which opened January 16th and closed April 4th and reopened July 25th. And with that, we also pulled back our food trucks. Right. We had to pull back our food trucks because events were canceled. And how are you doing that? You're we still do. open or? Yes. Oh, heck yeah. You have huge spunk and Thank passion and, and obviously grit. I mean, lots, lots of words come to mind with you. Firecracker. Um, I love her. Firecracker, <laughs> right? So where do you think you get your drive from? My parents separated when I was very early. My mother was a, she's recovering now for almost 50 years, but she was an alcoholic. And I grew up in the homeless shelters, I learned how to dumpster dive at eight years old to get my food. But that led me to understand that I wanted to be a stronger person. I wanted to have control of where I went in my life. I will never be hungry. I will never not know how to make money. And I don't think that I would change anything because I would not be the woman I am today. It's a great story. Good for story. you. Well Thank you. Yeah, good for you. Congratulations. That's, you know, they say the strongest swords are forged in the hottest fires. You're beaming. India, Thank how you. proud are you of your mother? <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. Thank you. Like I said, she's a firecracker. Aren't my girls awesome? I find you so inspiring and the challenges that you overcame. But for me, I don't see enough differentiation between other things that I've seen. I'm not completely drawn uh, to the food, and for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. There's not that one thing that makes it impossible to copy, right? 
your execution, your relentlessness will make it successful. Anybody can copy McDonald's. But McDonald's also started in 1955 right. and was one of the first with drive throughs yes. and drive suits. And we're with... one of the first vegan junk foods. Well, yeah, uh. and, and that's true, but again, it's you haven't gotten that scale yet where you can yes. say to everybody else, we don't care what you do, right? right? Which just makes it very hard. So for those reasons, I'm out. Cassandra, amazing job. I mean, you know, it's one of the great things about business. It gives you the freedom to do the things you love and spend Absolutely. the time with your family. Absolutely. I will tell you, in California, I've seen this. Yes. And it's a race, whether you realize it or not, you're not the first one, you're not the only one. There's lots of them. That's right. And I would never bet against you and the Bumblebee family. But as a business, I don't know if it's ready for an investment until you get to a critical point of scale. Only for that reason, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think that uh, it would be smarter for you to not expand, to stay solid and grow what you have right now. I'm not going to invest. I'm sorry I'm out. We appreciate it. Sandra, I, I really connected with your story because I lost my father when he was 37. I was raised by my mother and she uh, was very tough but I learned from what she did that that gives you power. So for you, obviously you've learned that. I mean, it gets me emotional just thinking about it. But your numbers, they're not investable. You need to make at least 500,000 per location on a 20% pre-tax profit. And you know, I try and keep the discipline of not letting my emotions tug me into a deal that doesn't make economic sense. And that's the only reason I'm out. Well, I do hope that you will all come and eat at it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's our Thank pleasure you. You guys are amazing. To Congratulations you. on all you've accomplished. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. It's okay, right? I am the woman that I am today because of what I've been through and where I've come from. I've raised my daughters to be the women they are today based on that. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to stop.